My name is Titta Kotilainen, I'm a photobiologist and I'm responsible for conducting the research in-house experiments here in Valoja. Uh, Valoja is a company uh, that manufactures LED lights for horticultural applications. The idea is based on our own patent pending LED technology that enables uh, us to create wide light spectrums. Uh, today we are testing lettuces and herbs under different Valoja light spectra and we are uh, testing the effects of light quality and quantity on their growth and uh, several growth parameters. From the results we are able to see then uh, what is the most appropriate spectra for growing lettuces and herbs. Uh, light quality affects the taste properties as well. Uh, the taste can be very different. For example with rockets you can get very peppery and very very strong taste or you can get the milder taste. If you have your flowering pot plants that you want them to be ready for Christmas you can uh, have lights that stop the growth and keep it as it is or you can enhance the flowering with our light spectrum. And they are bumblebee friendly too. Uh, we have tested it with tomato. With hypersodium there's very little blue light so if there's no natural light or very little natural light then you need uh, additional uh, light to grow your uh, tomatoes, but with high pressure sodium lights uh, the bees might not be able to find the flowers or they are reluctant to leave the beehive. But we have shown that under valoyalet lights the bees can navigate and are able to find the tomato flowers efficiently. Uh, I see the future of LED lighting very promising uh, because it enables things that were not possible to do before and it can enhance uh, greenhouse production and the methods uh, significantly and it opens uh, possibilities for growing uh, plants that were not possible to grow before. It enables so many things that you can't Im even imagine because with light you can affect every prospect of your plant, how it looks like, how it tastes like and things like that we're not able to do before.